a new study was just published and it really makes us rethink what aging is. Typically we think of aging as an inflammatory process and in crude inflammation over a lifetime is what causes age-related changes. It does. Inflammation does decrease the body's ability to renew and restore. If you've watched any of my recent videos, I talk about how grounding, which decreases inflammation, is very anti-aging and extends longevity. So getting into a daily habit of touching the earth outside keeps your inflammation low. But a new study showed that inflammation is not necessarily a direct reflection of just our chronological time on earth. It's really a reflection of all of the stressors that we accrue each day. They looked at industrialized nations, specifically looking at uh, cities in Italy and Singapore. And then they looked at cities in Malaysia and in the Amazon that are non-industrialized. And they compared inflammatory markers versus chronological age. I have mixed feelings on why they didn't include any United States cities because we have the worst food. <laughs> we have the worst environmental toxins. We have a lot of stressors going on, F additives in food and uh, you know things like pesticides that are sprayed that we're breathing in every day. Lots of exposures that we have that are banned in other countries. We have the highest rates of eating fast food. So we just have a lot of inflammation coming at us. So I really wish that the United States had been um, included, but this just shows that even in European countries that are industrialized, there was a direct correlation between chronological age and inflammatory cytokines, which is the inflammation markers they were looking at. But in the non-industrialized cities in the Amazon and in Malaysia, those inflammatory markers were not increased even when looking at extreme chronological ages. So that our inflammation does not need to accrue just because our chronological age is, is moving onwards. They have very low markers of inflammation. They had their own markers of inflammation that were associated with infections, parasite and bacterial infections, but that is not corollary in the slightest bit to age. You can have those infections at any age. So that is not because of chronological time on this earth that you're accruing this inflammation. That's just from infection. There are multiple multiple medical studies in the medical literature. You can find them on my website. You can read them directly for yourself. I have a whole list of grounding medical studies that have been published in the medical research that are double-blinded, placebo-based, very high-integrity studies showing grounding decreases whole body inflammation through these exact same inflammatory cytokines that they were using as the gold standard marker for chronological age and inflammation accruing. And we are so used to seeing that in tandem because of our industrialized lifestyles that we think they go hand in hand. And so I have made many videos for you on how to decrease inflammation using grounding and decrease those exact same inflammatory cytokines that are aging our organ systems, that are decreasing our stem cell population, and that are making our brain inflamed. There's certain inflammatory cytokines that cross that blood-brain barrier, and they actually age our brain. And by keeping those low, we can get rid of that inflammaging, that inflammatory aging process, which means aging is totally separate from our chronological age. It's totally optional. One of the best things we can do even in an industrialized environment, besides trying to eat organic, filtering your water, filtering your air, decreasing your EMF exposures in your home, decreasing using bug sprays and personal hygiene products that are toxic. You can control a lot of your toxic exposures, but not all of them. But one thing you can do is be intentional about touching the earth every single day. 15 minutes is enough to show that there are huge benefits to our long-term health. 15 minutes. Even in a very urban industrialized environment, you can get grounded outside because even if there's just a tree, even one growing up through a sidewalk, if you touch a leaf on that tree, you're grounded. The sidewalk ex itself allows the energy of the earth through, you're actually grounded through sidewalk. Metal is conductive, so touching a signpost while you're waiting before you cross the street, that's grounding you. Our plumbing in our buildings are grounded by law. So taking a bath, washing your hands, washing the dishes, you're grounded during all of these times. If you really can't get outside or can't soak in a bathtub for that good 10, 15 minutes a day to get your grounding fix in, you might wanna consider indoor grounding tools. But again, along with decreasing our toxic exposures, we want to use organic, all natural materials. So I have those handmade for you in my grounding boutique using organic hemp, organic cotton, no bleach, no dyes, no fragrances, handmade by a seamstress right here in the United States. And then I personally send those products to you so that you know they are easy 
eco-friendly, they are ethically handcrafted, and they are going to be healthy for you and healthy for your long-term exposure. I would not recommend sleeping on those leatherette, which is just vinyl plastic, black mats. I wouldn't put my feet on those. I wouldn't sleep on those. I wouldn't want that rubbing against my skin. We now know that microplastics can even actually be absorbed through your skin. So you really do want all natural products, especially if you're going to use a grounding tool to sleep on then you wanna make sure they're organic and all natural. And those are found in my grounding boutique on my website at intuition-physician.com.